song and sent the demo to Sarah. Sarah really pushed me to tighten up the lyrics, simplify the message, make it very, 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 uh, you know, I guess uh, digestible by anyone who could listen to it. You know, there was a fun, dancey, upbeat feel to it, but there's also that dark side. You know, I'm obviously being nostalgic. I'm obviously looking back into the past and, and the song, you never ever see this moment that's getting closer actually come to fruition. So there is this element of like, did it happen? Did it not happen? And so when we went in to actually record the song with Greg Kirsten in the studio, it felt very intimidating because we wanted to make sure to capture the tone, the right tone for the song. And the demo had an upbeat feel, but there still needed to be, I think, that moment in the song where everything breaks down and you have, you know, a moment to just kind of catch your breath. And the bridge is sort of like this other world. So, you know, like each part of the song was a complete journey. Sarah was joking the other day that it was the song we spent the most time on in the studio and I don't think it's because it was more important than any of the other songs on the record. I just think that in order for the song to still have integrity and to still be a great song, it, we needed to make sure that each section really did take you somewhere new because the message is very simple in the song so the music had to really elevate I think the message. So It really has done exactly what we wanted to do. Now it feels worth it but there were moments when we were rewriting the chorus for the seventh time, or I was at home demoing the vocals over and over again, or changing one lyric because Sarah was liking something that I just wanted to throw the whole song in the garbage. <laughs> so, but now it feels worth it. <laughs>